Exercise 2.30 A. Express the position vector from point A of the front front end loader to point B in terms of components. B. Express the position vector from point B to point C in terms of components. C. Use the results of A and B to determine the distance from point A to point C. Alright, so what we're going to do is to first solve the exercise ASAP and then I'm going to explain what was needed for me to solve it. Alright, so the first step is to write down the coordinates for every single point. Now, the coordinates of the point A are 50,35 in inches. The point B are 98,50 as well in inches. And the coordinates of the point C are 45,55. Alright, now, the first question is asking for the vector RAB. So, right here, this is going to be equal to 98 minus 50 in the R direction, plus 50 minus 35 in the J direction. Hence, RAB is equal to 98 minus 50, 40, 48. 48 plus 50 minus 35 is 20 minus 5, 15. And here we have our first answer. Now, for the part B of the problem that you're asking for, the vector BC. Now, RBC is equal to 45 minus 98 the R direction plus 55 minus 50 in the J direction. Of course, I just forget to write down the units. This is in inches. And finally, RBC is equal to 98 minus 45 is 53. But because this is greater, and um, this is minus 53 the i direction plus 5 j direction in inches here we have our second answer finally for the c part of the exercise they are asking for me to use results a and b for me to find the magnitude of the distance between A and C. So all I have to do is to say that the vector RAC is equal to RAB sorry RAB plus RBC. RAC is equal to <clears throat> 48 minus 53 is equal to uh, 3 plus 2 minus 5 I think so, yep minus 5 in the i direction plus 20 in the j direction hence this is the vector, hence the magnitude of the vector is equal to the square root of 5 squared which is 25 plus 20 squared which is 400 so the square root of 425 and finally this is equal to the square root of 425 20.6155 inches and right here we have our first our third sorry final answer now what was needed for me to solve this exercise it is actually pretty simple. The first thing for me to determine a vector using its coordinates is subtracting the final coordinates minus the initial one. For example, if this is point A and this is point B, as you can see, the arrow is pointing towards A. That means that 
the final point is a that means that i should be able to subtract the x component of a minus the b component no the x component of b sorry hence this vector r b a is equal to a x minus b x for the x component uh, directly related to the i component all right for when we are talking about vectors remember plus this is always a positive symbol plus the same thing but taking into consideration the x the the y component sorry a y and b y so this is a y minus b y the j direction and that's it guys this is how you can determine a vector taking into account the coordinates of the final and initial points now as you can see the exercise is telling me from point a to point b that means that they are asking for this specific vector that means that it should be 98 minus 50 and 50 minus 35 this is what we have right here now the b part tells me from point b to point c b to c all right so it should be 45 minus 98 and 55 minus 50. this is what we have right here and it makes sense right because as you can see this vector I'm going to create it right here could be divided into two components the first one is going to be this one and the second one this one right hence this component which is related to the y direction is positive because it is pointing towards the same direction of the positive numbers for y but the x component is negative because it is pointing towards the opposite direction for the positive numbers for x and this is what we have right here so it makes sense now I want to make something clear and is that this is always a plus this is always adding summatory this is not depend right this symbol does not depend on the direction that we are taking into account because that would be a little confusion what determines if it's negative is this result the result within the parentheses right now of course we can or we could find the vector ac using the components right the coordinate system as we did right here and right here but the exercise is asking for uh, to us to use our previous results now if you remember if you want to create a summatory of vectors all you have to do is to create a resultant shape for example i want to add i don't know these ones all i have to do is to create a resultant shape meeting one requirement and is that detail must be touching the head detail of one of the vectors must be touching the head of the one that follows as we can see right here tail with head tail with head tail with head tail with head and the result is going to be the other way around taking into account the edge the the yeah the corner vectors this one and this one tail with tail head with head and the result is going to be this magnitude all right this is what we have right here remember we did 
d vector r a b which is this one and d vector r b c which is this one as you can see right here you have tail with head hence the result is going to be this one head with head tail with tail so all i have to do is to add the two of them 48 plus minus 53 is equal to minus 5 which is the same thing as having 48 minus 53 15 plus 5 is 20 right and the next thing is to find the the magnitude of the vector by taking into account the square root of the two of the components um, added together but taking into account the square root so the, the magnitude rac is equal to the square root of minus 5 squared plus 20 squared right here and right here d vector obviously minus 5 is within the parentheses that means that minus 5 multiplicated by itself is equal to 25 positive minus times minus is equal to a positive symbol at the end and well the 20 is not confusing so the square root of 425 and this is equal to this result and that would be all guys this is how you can solve this exercise